Good morning. I know I usually start my video on a Monday in uni, but today I am doing some things to prepare for the week and I thought I would film some things. I'm starting my day off with some Pilates. Um, it's not even early though, it's 10.31, so don't fool yourself into thinking I'm being very productive. I'm just living life, so. Um, I'm doing a seven week trial of this Pilates thing and then after that runs out I don't know what I'm gonna do because it's kind of like too expensive for me to buy so if anyone knows any really good Pilates YouTubers please let me know My room is in shambles. I'm kind of doing a much deeper clean and organised than I had planned, but it's okay. I really want to do some more art this year, so I kind of think if I make everything easy and accessible and it's just there, it'll be way easier to just do art and it'll be on my mind more, you know what I mean? If you like streamline the process to do something, it's much easier to do it. Yeah, I don't know how true that is, but I'm actually stopping midway through to go on a walk. So I'm gonna get dressed now, put on my layers and meet my boyfriend. I'm gonna surprise him with some lemon tea from the shop. Yeah, need to get dressed. I think during exams, it's so easy for me to gradually let my mess accumulate and not notice it. Like my sink and my counters were so dusty, my mirrors were like full of fingerprints. Even though I changed my bed recently, the sheets, I need to change it again because it's full of crumbs, you know? To be honest, I'm kind of running out of clean clothes, so that is quite urgent, I think. But I thought I can do that in the evening when it's dark and the sun will go down and then I'll be able to walk. So I'm making the use of the sun. So yeah, it looks a mess, but I think it will get worse before it gets better. So I absolutely douse myself in this perfume before I go anywhere. To be honest, I treat it more like a body spray. I think it just needs some time to sit on the shelf to like become stronger, so. Also, I literally met a viewer yesterday when it was so weird. Not weird that they said hello, but it was like a weird moment for me where I was like, oh, people, real people watch, you know? It was so lovely though, she was really nice. But yeah, I was like, 
I'm not expecting that to ever happen to me because I feel like that only happens when you're like super famous and then here I am not famous at all and people recognize me on the street and I was like oh <laughs> how did that happen <laughs> Let's go on the walk. I will say it was really nice to wake up to such a clean flat. I did polishing last night and I took all the stuff I'd been gathering on these shelves down because I don't like having a lot of clutter. It makes my brain feel messy. <laughs> so everything is now in its place and it feels nice. I do need to empty my bin and then I've got my recycling and two massive loads of washing but at least my immediate area is clean. Also inside my wardrobe is complete shambles but I am still happy that my, my surfaces and my wherever are seemingly tidy.
zero degrees today, which means I need layers because I'll be freezing. Maybe a black leather jacket and then I feel like with any outfit it's inevitable that I'm going to have to wear a coat over it. Nobody's going to actually know what the outfit looked like unless I took off my coat, which I will because it's freezing. My top is weekday. Jacket is from charity shop Oxfam a few years ago. Coat, my brother's Ralph Lauren, but that is also vintage or just second hand. Um, and a lot of people ask me if I know where it's from and I don't. It does say this on the cuff, RL250. I don't know if that helps. Shorts on and then jeans are uh, Hugo Boss vintage. I've, I don't know how vintage they are or if someone bought them and sold them straight away to the vintage shop. I don't know, because they're pretty much new, so. I literally wear these shoes every day, so I know I'm gonna be cold and I should wear a hat, but I don't want to ruin my hair because I washed it last night. So, no hat, just gonna be cold. It'll be fine, it'll be sort of like um, that cold water therapy people do, but it's just constant and windy, so. I also did a face mask last night and apart from my massive eye bags, I think it actually helped my skin. I don't know. I've been getting dry patches from the cold, so anyway, it's time for our walk. refreshing walk. I went to Lidl for those £1.50 veg crates because I managed to use all that veg. You know, all that produce for £1.50 was such a good deal. So I have been checking every time I'm near I go in and have a look but he said that either they don't have any today or they just haven't been prepared yet so I guess next time I go, I'll go later in the day. I have my whole skincare routine linked in the description. My skin is combination, I'd say, because my forehead gets very oily and I get a lot of closed comedones on there very easily and I have found that the Afakla Duo by La roche -Posay is the best thing for it and also cleansing twice a day has been a big help but when I do cleanse in the morning I mainly focus on my forehead because if I cleanse too much the rest of my face it will go dry so it's definitely been a learning curve and my skin has not been clear for maybe like five years and now it's at the best point it has been in a long time so I'm hoping I can just continue to use these products with the Afakla I only use this at night otherwise I get irritation on my forehead, like tiny bumps that aren't closed comedones. This is my favourite ever chemical exfoliant, Ren Daily Tonic, and I also have Paula's Choice, but I find that this is more long term and like blackheads. If you have blackheads, this is good, but if you just want to like have a nice glow and refresh your skin every so often, I'd say the Ren one is better. I don't ever want to encourage people to buy something 
just because I want to make like a 1% commission. I just think it's unethical and when somebody subscribes to my channel I don't think they're here for me to sell them things so only give recommendations that I actually believe in. This is my skincare routine that I have tried and tested over many years and spent a lot of money on. <laughs> you do just have to look around for deals and stuff. For example, I had to rebuy my sun cream this weekend and I'd been putting it off for a while but then I officially ran out so I was like okay I have to buy it. It was full price in boots but I looked online and it was cheaper in Superdrug so I went there instead and it was five pounds cheaper. So make sure you do your research when you are buying. My number one tip for skincare would be wash your hands before you touch your face or do your skincare and don't try too many new things at once because that way you will never know what is actually benefiting your skin versus causing irritation. I know it can be tempting in this day and age where everything is like buy this, buy this, buy this try and only buy what you need and if you do buy like five things at once you're gonna have to implement those over like a couple months anyway so even more reason to not impulsively spend <laughs> take your multivitamins and drink water and eat fruit and veg okay i will now go back to being a normal person and stop giving unsolicited advice <laughs> lecture but his lectures are really boring over now though going home excited to have my leftover noodles because they were really good hi i'm back it's such a beautiful day it's freezing but i love it it's so nice the plan is to eat my leftovers now because if i go on a walk without having eaten them i will be tempted by like greg's or something and you know we're saving money aren't we so gonna heat up my noodles with a little bit of water just to make sure they're not too dry i think today's the day i will buy some gifts for my boyfriend's birthday on sunday which is like this is why i save so when it comes to stuff like this i can get him nice things or like christmas i can buy my family nice things motivation to save so yeah the sun it's so nice. I'm so... Every time the sun comes out, I feel so thankful that it's there, you know? I'm like, please never go. I will appreciate you forever. That lecture was dismal, I won't lie. Thankfully, next week we have a different lecturer. I feel bad because the guy's just doing his job. But yeah, I find it really boring because it's such a small group. It's quite hard to blend in. You kind of have to stay composed and 
be ready to answer questions because there's like not that many people there. I'm feeling really tired because of the sun. <laughs> I used this mushroom vegetarian stir fry sauce. Um, I bought this ages ago and yeah, it was so good. And I used udon noodles. I also used this crispy chilli in oil for my tofu and I didn't have time to marinate the tofu otherwise I would have marinated it in a tub with this and some chopped garlic and I think it would have been even nicer so next time I'll do that and maybe some spring onions as well I would have given it a good marinade in the fridge I seriously think that wearing no makeup has really helped my skin like become nicer I guess I don't know twist i'm still hungry so i've not made oatmeal on the stove in a few years so we're just gonna have to see i'm just gonna wing it i don't know jumbo rolled oats cinnamon my tiny apple coconut oil this is for the apples i would use butter but i don't have any i don't know if i should be cooking the apples and then adding the oats in i'm also gonna use honey I've just seen the news that there's been a really awful earthquake in Turkey and Syria and the surrounding areas and I know a lot of the people that watch this channel are from Turkey. I think it's like my highest country in my analytics are from Turkey so I know by the time this video goes up it will have been like two weeks maybe but I really hope that if you're watching and you were affected in any way that you're safe and you're well and if not I hope you're healing and my condolences to anybody that has maybe lost a loved one or family or their home. Seeing these things is just so shocking and you kind of can't help but feel helpless so I know there's like no words I could say to make it better but I do hope you are well and I'm sending you all my love. I'm going to go on a walk and appreciate the surroundings and everything I have and I hope maybe my little video can bring some peace to someone but I'd say that would be wishful thinking. <laughs> about the background noise I'm making pasta bake in the oven and I live in a small place I can't do anything sorry <laughs> I got some daffodils they're actually the national flower of Wales we call them Kenyan Petter people typically wear like little daffodil or a leek like a pin on St David's Day or Dudna Dewi Sant, which is on March the 1st, so they were on offer actually. It was two for £1.50, so I thought, why not? I'm gonna do some more editing. I'm always editing, but not always making very much progress with it, so 
I'd say it takes me around 15 to 20 hours per video. It doesn't look very nice right now, but hopefully they flower soon. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tidy up my mess, keep editing, and I think there's about 15 minutes left on my pasta. So I'll have that, edit some more, edit some more, go to the gym, maybe go on a walk, and then go to bed. And then more uni tomorrow, so. I still haven't done my clothes washing though, so I literally have no more clothes. So I kind of have to do that tonight as well. I don't want to, but I have to. Aubergine, a leek, and you know yesterday I was saying that daffodil is like the national flower of Wales? Well, a leek is kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of just like our vegetable. Three red peppers, a cauliflower, one pear, and four little lemons. Nine potatoes, I can't lift them all up, but nine large potatoes. Some of them are kind of messed up, but you can just chop it off, you know? And that would be perfect. But the other day I was in co-op and I saw this. Bag of potatoes for 68p. So I bought it. I also found mega pack of Weetabix. 72 Weetabix. It's literally giant. update they have gotten a lot more they were kind of flopping over but now they're very straight i'm gonna meet my friends for some food now not seen them in a long time and i know i've got no reason to be nervous but i always kind of do feel nervous when i'm meeting up with people after like a while of not seeing them i'm worried i won't know what to say or i'll just be really quiet but i'm sure it will be fine <laughs> thoughts these days are I'm feeling a bit better, I'm kind of developing a little routine, feeling a lot less lost, I'd say. It's definitely 
easier to do things, which is nice. Still failing a lot, you know, still a lot of things I feel unsatisfied with or just not happy with in general. I am feeling quite inspired to try some new editing or just to make more videos. I feel really motivated to do that but also every time I sit down to edit I get distracted or I do other things and it's like I just can't seem to allow myself to do this thing that I so clearly love and instead I waste my time like scrolling on my phone or something. I don't know. And then regarding university, I have no thoughts at all. I just am kind of attending my lectures and trying to pay attention and then coming home and it's like not even a part of my thoughts. Like I don't think about it outside of that. So I think I will journal for a bit, try and clear my mind. Thing is, I can't really think of anything. It's kind of like my mind is too clear. There's like no thoughts, head empty. I've got no idea when this book is due. I'm guessing they'll email me and say, so I think it'll be okay. I've hardly made any progress with my book. I actually wrote some journal prompts yesterday to share if you would like to use any prompts. It's literally just the highlight that says prompts and then I save them. <sighs> Why am I so tired? <laughs> I think it's okay to feel sad and confused at times. I don't think life is meant to be this perfect picture that you see, especially online. I think a lot of people just love to pretend. I kind of hate that. <laughs> hate is a strong word, maybe. I, will, I shouldn't say hate, I should say I dislike. Because I think like all the ups and downs are the beautiful part, in a way. Imagine how boring things would be if everything was just perfect all the time and nothing ever went wrong. In fact, I think a lot of opportunities have presented themselves to me because maybe my original plan didn't go as planned. I think this is why we shouldn't regret anything. I don't think you can hold on to things that could have been because you've got no idea how your life would have turned out had things gone that way and it may be infinitely worse or infinitely better and there's no way really of knowing so there's no point regretting things, you know? Do I sound nuts? <laughs> But yeah, I know this is just a uni vlog and I'm just this tiny part of the internet, of the world and maybe nobody will care what I have to say but imagine being a YouTuber as a job. That would be a dream come true and I don't really know how it works. I don't really know how people live like that because it's not a very stable job I'd say but just kind of want to keep making stuff and sharing stuff so as long as there's somebody there I will do it and to be honest even if there's no one there I will still do it. It's now 10 past 4 so I've been speaking for about 25 minutes just about literally nothing. My hopes and my dreams and anything in between. <laughs> I would also love to make a podcast that would be amazing. I mentioned it before kind of in passing and that I didn't really think I would do it but then so many people commented saying they wanted to listen to my podcast so yeah maybe I'll do that too I need to go now but yeah calm vibes happy peaceful and calm that is how I feel so let's go get some sushi <laughs>